here we go. The first match of the Nixon Network Tournament is underway. It's Titus! Titus! With the clash of the tires! That's gonna be a two and a kick out by Hogan at two. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Two punches right to the head. Kicking off this tournament is Titus O'Neill, represented by Gavin, and then Hulk Hogan, represented by Tim. And Titus with a series of punches to the face. And Hogan turns it around right away. Oh, kick. Kick right to the chest. Titus may be in position, but Hogan refusing to go for the leg drop there. Got a great first round matchup here. Three other ones to go. Oh! And Titus with that elbow drop. Titus O'Neill is feeling really good about himself. And Titus taking time to hype up the crowd. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Be a great matchup here. Hogan, a true icon. Oh! Speaking of icon, Titus, Titus might have right here. One! Only a one count as Hogan kicks out. Hogan, a true legend in the history of wrestling in general and in WWE. And Hogan fighting him back here. Hogan's waiting for that moment to, to hulk up with a, a bulldog. Titus came in with a quick fury at the beginning of the match. Hogan's been trying whatever he can to get back into it, but Titus just won't stay down. Hogan's got punches. Oh, my goodness. The one punch didn't even drop Titus, but then the one punch by Titus drops the Hulkster. And Hogan with a clothesline setting Titus over the rope. Now Hogan can take this. Never mind. I was like, Hogan can take this time to rest and regroup. But now he's going outside to bring the fight to Titus. This is just a normal match, so count outs do apply. As Hogan drops Titus right on his face on the apron of the ring, the hardest part of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Strike right to the face. Oh, no, 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 no. Titus has gone up for a suplex. And now he's squatting with him. Titus gloating on a suplex outside the ring. The count does continue, I believe, as Titus going to send Hogan right into the corner of the ring. Face first. Count of eight. Oh, my goodness. Nine. Not this way. Is off this Titus O'Neal has beaten like Hulk this. Hogan. Oh, my goodness. Titus O'Neal, represented by Gavin Advances, as Titus takes the cheap way out to win by a count out, he is going to the semifinals. That is a tough pill to swallow. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. All right, folks, it is time for our second matchup in the first round. Undertaker, represented by Zach in Ric Flair, by William. And Undertaker drops him on his back. I still can't get over that first matchup. Titus O'Neil sneaks his way to the, the semifinals, winning the count out, not even pinning Hogan. Now we're gonna see who's gonna be joining him. Undertaker and Ric Flair. Ric Flair known for having some of the most world championships in all of wrestling. But he's going up against the man who went 21 and 0 at one point, WrestleMania. Wait a minute, Rick Flair ran over the figure four. This may be over right here, folks. This may be over right here. I believe the referee just called a rope break because Taker with his arm was underneath the rope. Reofficiating by this referee. But Flair's going to... Flair pulled him a little bit more into the middle of the ring. And now he's, he's locking it in again. The figure four is locked in once again. Once again. Taker has nowhere. He, he's trying to reach to the ropes, but he can't get there. Whoa, this is, is the Undertaker going to tap out? But no, it looks like really sure Flair letting him go. Right Flair uh, realizing he won't be able to do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my God! A third lock in of the figure four. Taker's got to tap out now. He's more. Ta Taker gives up. It's over. Taker tapped. Taker tapped. Oh my God! Rick Flair looked impressive tonight. Rick Flair, represented by William, is advancing to the semifinals. I can't believe the Undertaker tapped out. But why, why would I be surprised? He tapped out to the Nature Boy with his figure four. Ric Flair is advancing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the third match of the first round, after this, one more to go. Stranger things have happened in this tournament. On predictability. Oh my god. This should this should be a mismatch on paper. Look at this. And I wouldn't at all be Scott Hall with the razor's edge under the giant. The strength of Chico. Got the shoulders down. One. Two. I want to kick out for Andre. You gotta know more than that. That's gonna keep down this giant. A razor's edge right off the beginning of the matchup. And now he's got to think of, think of a plan B because that didn't work. Oh, and Andre runs him over like a, like a semi truck. For those. Oh, ooh, looks like he was over a bear hug. But, and now. Oh, he went for a clothesline. He couldn't even bring Andre down. All these matches in this tournament were randomized. So if you were wondering the unfairness of some of these matchups. But, well, the unfairness has not really mattered because, oh, my goodness. He's going for it again. He's going for the Raiders' edge once more. This may be it. This may be it. Is he going to beat Andre the Giant, the man who's lost like once ever? Oh, not even a one. Scott Hall is going to the well once more. Oh my goodness. We're gonna see it. Way Andre kicked out at one, but for a third time, Scott Hall drops him with the Raiders in. Is this gonna be it? Is that it? He goes for the cover. One, two, three, and Scott Hall! Yes! Takes it! Determined to put him away with the Raiders in has finally done it. Oh my goodness. What a shocking tournament this has been. Scott Hall has defeated Andre the Giant, and Scott Hall, represented by Brent, is advancing to the semis. One more to go. Who will join? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has come down to this. One final match. Before we head to the semifinals, Dynamite Kid, represented by Alex, Rowan Reigns, represented by Peyton. Here we go. Iris whip into the corner. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't the tribal wait. chief, the big dog, Roman Reigns, with a Samoan drop. Right to begin this match. Oh, oh, a roll up, a roll up, a roll up. One, two. Oh, could have been over that quick, ladies and gentlemen. Irish whipping him again to the corner. Oh, tearing him apart. Just ugly impact. Who will join? The three that have already advanced here is Dynamite Kid once again, countering the Irish whip from Roman Reigns. These two just are determined to do some move in the corner. It's a flying drop kick by Dynamite Kid. Fix him up. Oh, and just a replay of what just happened there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my. Two, two solid backbreakers back to back. Literally. And then a kick right to the back. But that time, kick to the midsection. We've already had the likes of Titus O'Neil advance. Scott Hall and Ric Flair. Who will join them? This is all for the Knicks Ig Never Championship. As now he's going to the outside. And Dynamite Kid to the top. He's lining him up. 
Dynamite Kid is measuring Roman Reigns. He's outside the ring. You gotta be kidding me! Oh! A Superman punch! A Superman punch! Oh my goodness! That was incredible! Oh my! Roman Carey with a Superman punch! His chances are dwindling quickly. Now he's got to get back into the ring. So much punishment. Yeah, or will he choose not to, as we've seen Tyus. Oh, what? Throwing him like a dart into the post. I still can't believe that Superman punch counter. The count continues. Will this be another count out? Count of seven. Oh, Roman slides back into the ring. Oh, but no, no. Rowan wants to win win the right way. Restarting the count. Two. Rowan wants to end this in the ring via pinfall. Win it, win it the right way. Oh, back first. Oh, oh, look at this. What is this strategy? Rowan Reigns has been a Boston crab outside the ring. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Kid reverses Roman's back and lower. Oh, who? He landed on the steps, but now Dynamite Kid has got punched outside the ring, out, out into the audience. Oh, Dynamite Kid said, Not today, Roman. Then back in the ring. What a great final matchup here in the first round. These two are putting on a show. Roman Reigns taunting in the face of him. Another backbreaker. Seems that seems to be the theme in this match going for the back. And what is he doing? Diamond Kid going to the top rope. Oh, knee right to the head. A knee right to the head of Roman. I don't like the He's going up again. I don't know about this. Diamond Kid maybe going to the well once too often now. Incoming. Elbow to the back. Is this going to be it? We've got to cover. One. Oh, only a one count. This has by far been obviously the longest match of the first round. But it has sure delivered. What is Kid going to do? Oh, face first up the turnbuckle. Now repeatedly smashing him head first. <laughs> Roman is down. Remember, this match is Rowan Reigns represented by Pink Pong, and then Alex is represented by Dynamite Kid. It looked like Dynamite Kid was looking to put Rowan Reigns up in the corner. Rowan Reigns, oh, with a vicious right hand. Rowan Reigns has got one of the best strikes in the game with a flying, jumping clothesline to the back. There it is, a second Superman punch. Superman punch, but now Roman, instead of going for a pin, putting him in a vicious headlock right now. All those strikes to the head may have worn, have, may have worn down Dynamite Kid, and now he's looking to make him pass out, maybe go to sleep here. But Kid says no. Oh. 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 Gotta stand off again. Oh, look at Ranger going for a spear there. And an atomic drop. What a counter by Kid. He totally was going for a spear. Sending him to the corner. And once again, Roman firing back. Counter after counter in this one. Kid is determined, ladies and gentlemen. He is determined. I mean, I wouldn't really call this an upset because this whole tournament has kind of been upsets. So would I be surprised if Kid could pull this off? That would be a not even a trifecta. That would be four in a row where the one who I honestly didn't think was going to win pulls off the victory. But now maybe Kid is looking to finally get the move he's been trying to go for this whole match. Placing Roman in the corner, but Kid is tired. Oh, my goodness. Oh, an arm drag from the top rope. And again, he sends him into the corner. 
Oh, face first off the turnbuckle. This is going to be it right here. One. Two. Oh, and a kick out by your head of the table. Roman Reigns does not go down that quickly. He has wins over the likes of The Undertaker, John Cena, Triple H, Brock Lesnar. Three minutes remain in this match. All these matches have a 10-minute time limit. Oh, my goodness. Looking for something big here. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ow. A backbreaker off the top rope, using the rope as his... Oh, oh. Elmo busting him open. We, we do see red, ladies and gentlemen, on the face of Dynamite Kid. Oh, my goodness. I think we know what's coming up next. He's in deep, deep trouble. Spear by Reigns. First, the elbow to the head, busting him open. And then the spear. That's got to be it, folks. What? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. Oh my God. He kicked out of the spear, but Roman said not to dare a second one. That's got to be it. One, two, three, and there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A hard-fought battle by both competitors. But in the end, Roman Reigns is advancing to the semifinals, which means Peyton is moving on as well. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. This is my evolution. Think of me now, I won't leave you forsaken. See through my eyes and I know you'll awaken. Reclaiming my voice so I won't be mistaken. Enter the walls of your brain like a breaking. But it ain't hate, it's a source of relating. Vision be blurry, but destined for greatness.